but we've had two high points. A great start against Somerset that was obviously, uh, you know, uh, curtailed by the rain and, um, you know, a, a bit of a blip day against Surrey. But uh, credit to the Surrey players, the batsmen in particular, they had a real day out. So that can happen in uh, professional sport, professional cricket. Um, but what's really pleasing is, uh, you know, uh, different people are putting their hands up. You know, Ben Slater has obviously been very consistent at the top. But other people are contributing as well with the ball, the consistency is there, which is great to see. Uh, the opening combination, Dane Patterson's bowling well. The spinners have done well when, when being asked in, in some challenging circumstances. So um, even the old captain had a bowl today. So, you know, we're all getting into the game. We're all into the competition now. You know, we've got the real meat of the competition coming up over the next two weeks. And like I said, everyone's had a taste of the game and, um, and, and there's some good performances in there. So it's uh, good news. What's your impression been of some of those younger players that have had an opportunity as well? I suppose particularly the likes of Matthew Montgomery, whose first taste of senior cricket's come in the last week or so. Yeah, Matthew Montgomery. I mean, he's a fine player. I mean, he's he's uh, started his Nottinghamshire career very much uh, the same as uh, Calvin Harrison. But you know, in the meetings, you know, trying to decide our best eleven, it's a it's a real head scratcher. It's really challenging. But myself and Peter and the other coaching staff have got to the stage where. I'm very confident no matter what 11 out of the 16 players we've got available, I'll take onto the field and I know they'll do a grand job. So that's great in practice. You know, I feel like there's a, a number of match winners and it's just a shame that, that, that 16 doesn't divide into 11 uh, because there are some really fine young cricketers not getting a go at the moment, which is tough. But I'm a massive believer that the whole squad, are, you know, everyone's as important as each other and they'll get their opportunity. You know, um, you've only got to look back to last year. My first game for the club was in the final after sitting on the bench the whole game. So I'll keep reminding the guys that haven't had a start yet that that could happen and they're, uh, they're, they're as valued as anyone in the, in the lineup. We talk about the younger players, but um, it's been a good competition for some of the more experienced people in the lineup as well. Luke Fletcher getting wickets today, Ben Slater showing his 50 over form as well. How important is that, not just for them, but for those younger players in the group? Yeah, well, I think leading by example, and, and there's no better example than actually doing it in front of these young lads. You know, people are coming in and, you know, they've heard about Fletch and they've heard about Slats and they've heard about, you know, Brett Hutton and all the guys there, but, you know, they're delivering in front of, um, of them, you know, witnessing it with their own eyes. And that's a, that's a powerful message to see it firsthand. Um, you always expect, or I certainly expect the senior players to stand up, be counted, um, whether it's with performance or just the way they go about their business. And that's the, that's what you need to do as a senior player. I mean, you, you know, you, you've, we've played, we've all played for this long for a reason and passing that knowledge, that experience on, uh, how to go about your business, how to get the most out of your talent. That's hopefully the culture we're creating here and, uh, you know, uh, long may that continue. And what's your first impression of the uh, Welbeck weekend have been like? I'm sure you've played plenty of outground cricket through your career, but um, it brings a sort of intimacy to the performance, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, you know, it's um, obviously been strange times. I mean, I look around now and I'm thinking, you know, back in the day when I was probably in my 20s, I'd probably be here till midnight with a few, uh, few ciders <laughs> in my hand. Uh, you know, it's, um, the crowd's great. It's very partisan to Nottinghamshire. There's not many claps to the opposition, which is... Um, which is great, I suppose. Um, you know, a knowledgeable crowd. I had a few chats with um, a few of the local people, and it's nice to see the the, the cricket fans of the 50 over comp, and more importantly, uh, Nottinghamshire Outlaws are are, um, are coming out here to support us.